This is Chris 6 News at 6. Back at it on this Monday. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Pat Simon. Ten suspected undocumented immigrants are recovering from a close call with death. They had to be rescued from a train west of Robstown around 1230 this afternoon. One of them was able to make a desperate call for help, and some of those rescued are being treated right now for heat exhaustion at Spawn Shoreline Hospital. Reina Rodriguez joins us again out there with the latest. Reina. Yeah, that's right, Pat. As you mentioned, some suspected immigrants were found inside a sweltering train and they were brought here to the hospital to receive treatment, as you said, for heat exhaustion. Now, if you've been outside lately, you can imagine just uh, how unbearable that heat is and what it was like for those people who were rescued. They were found after Robstown police got a 911 call coming from inside a railroad car. It was just before 1230 when police found in what could have been a death trap. One of the group of 10 made the 911 call their train. They were uh, on was near County Road 40, just west of Robstown city limits. Two other individuals fled the scene. Chief Rex Ramon tells us the man on the phone told them that they took the train from Laredo yesterday and didn't know exactly how long they had come to a stop before feeling the effects of the high temperatures and decided it was time to call for help. Chief Ramon says it was uh, rather challenging uh, to find the rail car they were on. Some officers had to get on top of the train or walk through the trains and see if they could hear, you know, anybody yelling, and they couldn't. And all this time, uh, there was a person on the line talking to our dispatcher, and then one of the sergeants uh, uh, found them, and they were in the middle track. Yeah, they said it was uh, rather hard to go inside uh, as these individuals were very weak, so they had to use a ladder to help the group get out. Their condition had to be stabilized at the scene before they could even be taken to the hospital. We also spoke with Annaville Fire Chief who told us external temperatures of the train car read 130 degrees. Now you can only imagine just how hot it was inside those cars. They also tell us that had they taken a little longer to place that call, the outcome would have resulted in a tragedy. Now the individuals hospitalized here are expected to recover and be processed by Border Patrol accordingly. For now, live Reina Rodriguez, Chris 6 News.